Okay, now I'm going to introduce to you Steve Wood. Attorney Steve Wood is a partner with the law firm of Verquist Wood McIntosh and Cito in Walnut Creek. He earned his undergraduate degree in 1989 from California Lutheran University in Thousand Oaks, California, and his law degree in 1992 from the University of California at Berkeley, Bolt Hall School of Law. Mr. Wood is admitted to practice law before all courts of California, several federal district courts in California, and the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals, and the United States Supreme Court. Mr. Wood is a member of the Christian Legal Society and an affiliate attorney with the Pacific Justice Institute and the Life Legal Defense Foundation. Mr. Wood lives with his wife and eight boys in Walnut Creek and is a member of Walnut Creek Presbyterian Church. Mr. Wood is currently attorney for the Center of Medical for Medical Progress and Biomax Procurement Services in the lawsuit brought against them by the National Abortion Federation in federal court in San Francisco. Please raise your hands for Steve Wood. Well, it's an honor to be here today. And it's an honor to be on the legal team for David the Leiden and the Center for Medical uh, uh, Progress. This, uh, I was asked to, to speak here as one of the attorneys on the legal team, but these legal actions really have very little to do with the law. You sh I'm sure you've seen uh, attorneys try to use the, the press and the media to, to uh, um, persuade and help their legal cases. Well, all these legal actions are the abortion industry and Planned Parenthood's attempt to use the law to influence the media and public opinion. And the law has very little to do with it, but our job is to battle these huge, uh, these, these huge fights. There are five legal battles going on right now being waged. We have two in federal court in San Francisco, which I'm a part of. We have one state litigation in Southern California. And then we have the criminal indictment by the Houston uh, pro uh, 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 Planned Parenthood uh, prosecutor there against David, accusing him of, uh, uh, of trafficking and the fetal parts that Planned Parenthood is peddling. It's like Alice in Wonderland, it, it's, it's turned upside down. But, and, and then the last one, the most recent one, is our own state Attorney General, uh, uh, Kamala Harris, uh, investigating and seizing and, 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 and seizing, entering David Delighton's home and seizing his computer, his equipment, his property, his evidence against Planned Parenthood to try to stifle it and, and, and shut him down. And our esteemed uh, uh, candidate for uh, uh, Senate, Tom Del Bocaro, will be talking a little bit more about that. Uh, but all these lawsuits, it's just a tantrum, it's a rage, it's, it's a response, a desperate attempt by Planned Parenthood because they have been struck and they've been struck hard, very hard. And we all that owe all that to this young, amazing man, David Delighton, and the Center for Medical uh, Progress. As you heard, uh, uh, I'm an attorney, just a general business attorney in Walnut Creek. I have, uh, I'm married and I have eight boys. So we know a little bit about reproduction and family planning. And my wife is involved in trying to uh, get Planned Parenthood out of our schools, but before, But before this litigation, probably like most people, not only in America, but the world, I had very little knowledge about abortion, about the abortion industry, and I knew nothing about trafficking in baby parts. David Delighton's an undercover investigative uh, uh, journalistic project, a human capital project, has absolutely blown my mind not only in opening my mind to the unbelievable horrific trafficking in baby parts but also just the barbaric practice of abortion itself as david delighton has explained many times and explained last night in in danville at another uh, uh, rally there one of the main reasons why he chose this particular project this baby bat uh, 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 parts trafficking was because it un unveils an inherent paradox in the entire abortion industry. 
Planned Parenthood tells you it is not a baby. It is not a person. It is just products of conception, just tissue, just matter. It is not a person. And yet the very reason the parts are so valuable and desired and needed for research is that it's human. It's a person. And so that paradox is what they're desperately trying to shut down the messenger, close him down, destroy him, and silence him. But he will not be silenced. This has been an amazing victory, and we need to support him. He's unveiled four crimes, four main crimes that have gone on. The main one is selling baby parts for profit. Now, the crime, the, the federal law says you cannot transfer fe fetal tissue for valuable consideration. What's fetal tissue? I first heard fetal tissue, I thought, oh, it's like skin, cartilage. No, fetal tissue is any part of a baby. Usually it's organs. We're talking hearts, kidneys, lungs, liver, all those kind of things. But it's any, it's also other parts, limbs, genitalia, anything. Research want to research all these things and all these things are desired and wanted and they're for sale and they're being trafficked right now by Planned Parenthood across the nation. They say there's no profit. It's just reimbursement. Well, we learned this evidence came out in the congressional hearings this week that the abortion clinics pay nothing for this. The tissue procurement organizations come in, they do all the obtaining of the parts, they do all the supplying, the, the, the transferring, all that. The clinic has no expense. So everything they get is pure profit. What kind of profit? As we saw in the congressional hearings, it's about $55 per specimen. If you have an intact baby through partial birth abortion or other means, it adds up. That's a lot of profit. And how are these tissue procurement technicians paid that come in and do this dirty work that frequently the first time on the job they faint because it's so horrific and barbaric, but they get desensitized so they, they can do it. They get paid 10 bucks an hour but then they get paid per specimen, $15 to $75 per specimen. That's a lot of bonus, and that's a lot of profit incentive. It's horrific, it's a huge trafficking. One uh, uh, Planned Parenthood affiliate itself it made about $125,000 to $250,000 uh, 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 last year, and one tissue procurement organization, just one, made over $6 million, and their, their, their earnings are rising. This is a horrible trafficking that David Delighted has exposed. And they have responded powerfully. Planned Parenthood has a $1.4 million billion budget. They've got one law firm that I'm fighting against that's one of the largest in the world with a billion dollars in annual revenues. And they've got, uh, uh, it, it's a huge industry, but it's not just the business, it's the government. They've got the state of California. Where, with all these, four, all these crimes being committed, where is the federal department of justice to enforce these crimes obviously obama has said department of justice hold back because we like planned parenthood and obama likes his private meetings with cecil richards frequently it's corrupt at every at every level david delighted has exposed this and you can see through their reaction they are fighting like Planned Parenthood is fighting like their sur very survival depends on shutting him up. And you know, it actually does. And we need to respond accordingly. We need to join the fight. We need to stand up with David and we need to rally with him and fight against Planned Parenthood. We need to stop Planned Parenthood. We need to defund them. We need to get them out of our schools. We need to get them out of our communities. We need to get them out of our state government and our federal government. Let's stand with David and slay this Goliath Planned Parenthood. Thank you.